All right. Okay. Keep her screen on too. Keep her screen on. Okay. Welcome to today's continuing education. We have the pleasure of having Dr. Judy Kang with us. And I'm just gonna ask her to um, introduce herself before she starts her uh, wonderful talk with us. Hi, my name is Dr. Judy. Um, I am currently a stay-at-home mom right now. I used to work as a dentist. Um, I have a disability where I have a, a Durkovin's tendonitis in my right wrist, so I currently don't work as a dentist. And um, I have been um, interested in natural homeopathic stuff for a long time. You know, I don't believe in, I, I mean, unless I need to, I don't really take in um, medicine or anything that like that if I don't have to. Um, but I'm still a strong believer of it, of, you know, but I, if you can do it at home and help it and support your body through natural homeopathic ways, then why not? And um, I got to know Dr. Penny and she was with doTERRA for, I actually heard of doTERRA for a long time, but I never really looked into it. And then Dr. Penny was using it. And then I'm just like, hey, why not? And then COVID hit. And then it's like, yeah, this is the way to go, you know. Um, so, um, yes, this is such a broad subject. Like, I can go into every little thing that I can just talk about. There's so many things about hormones, but um, I started off researching a lot about hormones when I was about in my mid-30s, late 30s, um, because um, growing up, I never had... Um, like hormonal acne issues on my face. Like I never went through the puberty where I just broke out and like I got tons of um, acne everywhere. And then all of a sudden I, when I hit, after I had my third child and then going into about my mid thirties, late thirties, I started breaking out and it was just right around here, right here where the, I looked it up, researched it, found out it was all hormonal imbalance of stuff and so i got into it you know and i started um that's when i started like um reading into detoxing my body and you know all that stuff but um basically to balance your hormones um you have like around five steps that you actually go through that you know before you start you know natural homeopathic stuff um I would say hydration to your body is probably the biggest key. Proper nutrition, um, what you eat, um, exercise, and then um, I know it's hard right now, but managing stress, and then um, and then on top of that, you know, reducing toxins. So our body is a big organ that you know that takes care of every little thing and any little thing that goes in it imbalances our hormones. So um, just about June, I think Dr. Tina did this um, cleanse, restore and cleanse through doTERRA. And um, that's where Penny and I started talking, Dr. Penny and I started talking even more because she just thought that this, and this is pretty normal, that everybody thinks that detox equals weight loss. And so a lot of people are afraid of that and they don't do it or they only do it because they think they're going to get weight loss. But really detox is um, cleaning out your body and restoring, putting your organs back to kind of a natural state so that your organs are, you know, not filled with so many toxins and from food, from, you know, stress, from um, environmental toxins also. So, um, how many of you guys have like these days, you know, you have these cravings at night, like sugar cravings, right? Um, how many of you guys are fatigued? That's probably the biggest thing, fatigue, um, weight gain, um, uh, brain fog is another thing. Like you just, you're just, you know, three or four o'clock hits and you're just like, just zoned. Like you're like, uh, okay, what am I supposed to do next? And then for me, it's like, unless I have it in my phone and my reminder, I have, I can't think like, you know, you, you forget things now. 
because as you get older, your memory goes away, sort of. But to find out that's a little bit, you know, it's attributed by hormonal imbalance. And um, when I did this first talk with um, Dr. Penny's um, courses, um, I really focused on um, like the reproductive hormones, like your imbalance of your estrogen, your imbalance of your um, testosterone. Those are the reproductive hormones and your progesterone. If they're all imbalanced, then you, your body starts um, having those fatigueness because your body cannot support it. But what we, the underlying cause of all that imbalance I found out is actually what you're eating is creates a lot of horm hormonal imbalance. Um, insulin, like a lot of people are diabetic because they're insulin resistant and then they have, they can't um, metabolize the glucose that comes in from all the refined um, white carbohydrates, sugars, um, and so on. And um, so insulin, and then there's cortisol hormone, there's thyroid hormone, there's reproductive hormones. You know, those are all part of the hormones that our body goes through um, that is like a big circle that, that is a cycle that if one gets affected, then it's like a domino effect. Like one is affected by all. So I would say that insulin is probably the biggest um, hormone factor that because of what we eat especially um, when you eat too much refined carbs this is what i'm talking about white rice white bread donut sugar um, those are the simple carbohydrates when you eat too much of those your body gets too much um, glucose levels and then your cells can only metabolize so much of the glucose that eventually your liver has to absorb that and then causes the fat that comes in your belly. So I don't know if you guys know that if you go low carb for a while, you kind of, your, your belly is the first thing to go, like you get fat belly because of the, the, the water um, um, excretion and the fat that just shrinks. So um, the four hormones that I mentioned, insulin, cortisol, thyroid, and the reproductive, the progesterone um, hormones, they all work in different ways. Like insulin ins uh, regulates our glucose level. The cortisol is um, actually um, our life-saving hormone, they call it, the, the mother of all hormones. Like if your insulin, your cortisol goes up, your stress level goes up. If it goes down, then you don't create enough um, of the estrogen. So um, thyroid is our metabolism hormone, which also goes down as we age because our thyroid doesn't produce as much um, hormones from metabolizing. And then your estrogen, your reproductive hormones go down and then you get all these fatigue, uh, brain fog, um, irritability, migraines, um, headaches, um, heavy periods, um, breast tenderness, all those things are part of to, to that too. So let me see my notes here. I'm so nervous. Um, uh, so from what, when we age, so, we, so I was talking earlier about how I got into my hormones where I started. I realized that you, at your age 35, you go into your premenopausal. I know that sounds young, but a lot of people don't know that they're going into this premenopausal stage at age, as early as age like 35, mid 35s. And with the foods that are going on right now with all the GMO, there are a lot of things that even like the kids these days, they're, they're getting their periods at 10 years old. When you know, like 20, 30 years ago, the normal time was like puberty age, like 12, 13. But now these girls are getting breast enlargements more, you know, and um, their periods early on. And that's all from like, you know, the, the toxins that go into our, 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 our um, body that our liver and gut cannot, you know, clean out so fast because everything we eat, you know, is in that. So um, when our 
when our um, insulin increases, our, our, um, our cortisol level increases also. When our cortisol level increases, it, the balance of our estrogen progesterone is imbalanced. So they're all interconnected. So um, when you have an increase in insulin, you actually have an increase in inflammation. And so that's why when um, you, you have an insulin resistant, you have that fatigue and weight gain and um, that you, you eat sugar, but then you crave more sugar because the, when we create insulin resistance, your fat cells increase and your fat cells have a glucose receptors. And so when those glucose receptors, when the sugar glucose receptors go into those fat cells and they're all covered, your body tends to have want it more. And that's where your sugar cravings come in. And that's why I'm a strong believer of um, once a year or even twice a year doing a detox where you just get rid of the caffeine, get rid of all the white carbs, you know, put your body back going back into a um, normal state for your liver and your organs can function normally on a normal basis. And so when your, um, when your hormones are whacked, then your everything just, yeah, there's an imbalance in it, right? So like um, stress is another biggest culprit. Stress causes cortisol hormones. Cortisol increases fatty tissues around your Belly and around your hips of our middle-aged um, woman. And if that's because it, it decreases our estrogen levels. And our estrogen is what, you know, is our, our, our woman hormone, right? That causes all that. And so with a good diet is, you know, is, I would say is probably 90% of what is needed to um, fix what well, our hormonal imbalance on top of exercise and hydration. Um, when you have, when you can regulate your um, blood glucose level, then every start, everything could come back to balance. Um, hormone is the one thing that I believe is you can do it yourself without any medication or anything, unless you have severe um, symptom, um, um, what do you call it, medical problem that you can actually do for yourself that can actually come back to balance and, and work as a um, high functioning to produce your hormone balance. Um, the one thing I wanna mention about another thing um, is the cortisol hormones that causes the stress hormone is, um, like I said, it decreases our estrogen levels. So it shuts down our reproductive organs to produce our hormonal issues. And so when you do that, you, you, um, you, 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 your thyroid hormones that metabolizes the food those all get affected by it. And then so when all your organs get affected by it, then you can't, your body can't come to this natural state. So um, there, the ways that I'm talking about that we can put our hormones in balance again is the food and the hydration. And then um, another thing that I want to mention is um, when, um, when you do, when you put yourself back into the hormonal balance, then, you, um, you can do it homeopathically now, you know, so now you can, now you can do it with the essential oils to help you with all those stress. And, um, that's where I've been using, um, a lot of, um, a lot of um, doTERRA stuff to help me out. I've been using Immortel for my face. I've been using um, Clary Calm 
and so on. So here, let me share some of the doTERRA stuff that I've been using. Okay, we talked about this already. Oh, yes. Another thing like um, supplementing is a huge thing in, um, in our, our hormone balance. Um, you can eat as much as you want, but when your body can't absorb certain things, you need to supplement. And supplementing is as we age, because we, our body doesn't work as a young woman do, um, supplementing is a way of putting your nutrients back in so that your body can absorb things. Um, your gut has a huge impact on how you absorb all your nutrients and, um, and um, food that you eat. And if you have um, a leaky gut, do you guys know what that is, a leaky gut? Um, I'm sure you've seen it. You know, it's the new rage about, what's his name? The doctor um, talks about the lectins and all that stuff. And um, that's why probiotic is so important too. And um, putting it back in the healthy bacteria and, and um, this, the, the supplements that doTERRA has, the lifelong life vitality i cannot stress it enough how um, special this combination is um i you know it is a lot like um for me you know it, it is recommended that you take two pills in the morning of each which is six total you know and then you take six in the afternoon and by the time you you have all your supplements added up you're like taking 14 pills in one time with your um vitamin d that you should be taking you know your calcium you should be taking um what else is there there's um uh, vitamin c you should be taking and you know there's so many vitamins that doTERRA has this thing nicely packaged for you for to take you know all in just you know three six or six capsules that you can take i only take one each per um bottle and then twice a day and then and, um crs plus on the lifelong vitality is the one that gives you energy so if you take it too later on in the day you're not going to be able to sleep because you have so much energy um but the um, e X E O Mega that's giving you all the essential fatty acids that you need, which is so crucial in your diet. Um, and then the Microplex Complex is the actual vitamins that you get from um, the supplements that vitamin C, A, D, you know, all that stuff. So um, I highly recommend this this lifelong vitality because. Um, it's actually cheap to get these three things in this form and um, helps your body supplement what you need. Um, these are one of my favorite oils that I use for my balancing hormones. Um, clary sage. Clary sage is probably the one ingredient that I've researched that helps with estrogen levels. It supports it, it helps it, and, um, and thyme is a oil for, um, um, improving progesterone. Um, and sandalwood is a good um, oil for testosterone. So even, this is why the sandalwood is used for a lot of males, like they use it in a lot of colognes as a fragrance and it's supposed to help your libido. Same with rose. Rose is one of the, you know, what, queen of all oils for us. You know, you put it around your heart and then it's supposed to help you. Um, before getting into essential oils, sorry, I'm just all over it. Um, so nervous, <laughs> sorry. Um, I don't know if you guys know um, a lot of, I don't know my audience on this things that well. So how how effective an essential oil is um to do one drop like peppermint oil is like equivalent to drinking like 28 cups of 
peppermint tea. And I know a lot of people drink peppermint tea for digestion and stuff like that. So you, you know that these essential oils are so powerful and just a little drop of, you know, um, the oils. And the oils work on a cellular level. So what that means is that when, you're, when you smell it, when you put it on your skin, when you eat, drink it internally, it works at a cellular level that your cells can absorb it. And, and um, our body is one thing that our body does not grow resistant to, right? Like um, if you take anything like Advil or even um, antibiotics, your body grows resistant to it because, you know, it adapts to it. But the oils are actually the adaptogenic you know, the changes with our body. So it knows. So like, if you have enough estrogen level, then your body's not going to produce more estrogen, but it'll support it. You know, I'm, um, there are three ways that, you know, we use these oils, right? The smelling it, which is probably the most common way aromatically diffusing. When I, when I come into my house after a long day, I, turn on every diffuser in my house and um, Donnie, Dr. Penny can vouch for that. She comes in and she always says my house smells good and it's because I love the smell. The smell just brings me calmly down, my stress level down, which brings down my cortisol level, which, you know, helps me to just um, go throughout my day. You know, you, you know, you guys all know because you guys are all females. When you walk into a spa, you, the first thing you notice is the smell. And when you smell it, you just feel so good. Like you just automatically just feel relaxed and you wonder why, you know, I never thought of that when I was young, but now it's like, I know why, you know, we all know the secret as doTERRA essential oil users that the oils are the, you know, biggest thing to stress calm. I mean, there are a lot of like lavender oil, you know, adaptive, they all have, um, they're all stress level. But if you read every oil description, every one of these oils have, stress like helps with you with stress like that's like the one thing that they all have in common um you just smell anything it's just everything you smell is just you know brings you back down to earth you know and um um so uh, sorry and then we'll go back to um taking it internally um internally i would say you know i Another thing that I've taken um, on a basis, on a regular basis, I'm very lactose intolerant. And so I take, you know, when I eat cheese, I get actually a stomach ache, my stomach bloats, and then I actually drink a drop of the Digest Zen instead of the tablet because it works in instantaneously. And then then there's the, um, the, what do you call it? The, um, you put it on topically. And I think topically, one of the best ways to use it is for PMS, like hormonal symptoms. Like when you have a cramp, you know, you start putting on that clary calm on your tummy and you just start rubbing and, you know, that's the fastest way to get to a specific organ. Like, you know, you have um, deep blue, you know, you get, you're hurting on your shoulder stress. You just rub that deep blue on it and it just works immediately, effectively. And then, um, um, another thing that I'm so happy that doTERRA is bringing is the holy basil. Holy basil, the Tulsi, is probably um, one that I read about a lot, and doTERRA didn't carry it until the, you know, the Pursue um, 2020 came on, and I was just so happy, and so, you know, I wanted to buy the um, Pursue convention kit just for the holy basil just like i wanted to buy multiples but you know it's too much for that so the holy basil actually works on um your adrenal glands and your adrenal glands go well with um helps with your thyroid gland so though you know smelling that just diffusing that just helps regulate your adrenal and thyroid hormones on that basis so if you, and then balance, my favorite, my, my perfume, um, I put balance on just for perfume when I go out and I want to hug somebody, you know, 
you know, I, they can smell balance. So I put it right on where the edge where they can, you know, smell me. And then it keeps me, you know, um, smelling good and relaxed when I'm meeting people. So Clary Calm. This is, this has a lot of ingredients in it that, um, that support each other. So, you know, I mentioned clary sage and which is the estrogen hormone. You know, when you work, when you work with other hormones together, it works in a much better, um, effective way, more effective. So it, this has a blend of a lot of things that support a lot of hormones. And that's why, you know, with heavy periods, with your PMS, your mood swings, your hot flashes, your cramps, it'll help support that you know so when i know that my period is going to come i'll actually do it like two or three days before i'll start you know rubbing it on my breast for tenderness and then i'll rub it on my tummy so that you know my ovaries are you know producing the right way so that i'm about my hormones are balanced in the reproductive hormones um phytoestrogen complex so as we age, as we are hormonally imbalanced, we are also depleted of our um, calcium deficiency. Um, calcium deficiency comes also with um, vitamin D deficiency. They are they work together well. You have to have vitamin D for your bones to absorb the calcium. You need the you know vitamin D is another um, they. Call Call it vitamin D, but it's actually like a pre-hormonal um, vitamin that helps you in all ways. Like, I mean, these days because of COVID and we had the lockdown, no one went outside. And then I don't know if you guys remember, but it was like raining. It was cloudy, gloomy all through March and April. So we didn't even go out even more. Literally, I was like at home just, you know, diffusing and breathing in on guard so we could stay safe. And um, vitamin D comes from sun rays, right? Sunlight, we have to have sunlight. And we are deep. Even though you go out and you spend two hours, let's say an hour of exercising, we don't get enough of the vitamin D where we are clothed, we have sunscreen on, we have hats on to cook, to protect ourselves. So um, we are constantly vitamin D deficient and vitamin D is also supports your immune system. And um, there was a study that came out during COVID that vitamin D is one of the biggest vitamins that you need to support your immune system. And so um, I, I'm over all over places because this, if the hormonal is, is so broad, like I could talk about every little thing, I'm trying to talk about every little thing so that you can understand that there's a cynic, there's a circle that ties into this effect of one domino effect up to one another. But, um, the vitamin D, insulin, um, cortisol, they all come in together. So, you know, once you, when you're deficient of one, it brings down the other one. So this is why this phytoestrogen complex is another thing. Um, this has, um, this has actual food complexes that are in these little capsules like flaxseed i read that flax i read the ingredients on this and flaxseed's one of them flaxseed seed is a phytoestrogen um, food that you can eat that mimics the estrogen levels so um, it helps support estrogen that's why it's called a natural form of estrogen like therapy and not actually estrogen, and it's it helps our body to maintain the balance of that, and um, it will help you with the menstrual cycle and stuff like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I t actually was talking about the wrong thing. <laughs> I was talking about the bone nutrient for the vitamin D and calcium, but they all tie in together because we our hormones and our women at this menopausal age, we need all three of these complex.
complexes, the phytoestrogen, the bone nutrient, the clericum, to balance all our hormones in place that, you know, that um, keeps us in balance. So to sum it all up again, um, the five things or the five couple things that I talked about was um, proper hydration, proper nutrition, um, exercise, stress, and balancing our estrogen and progesterone levels for this. So if you look at this complex of hormones that we take, it basically covers all of that. And then you have your LLV for your supplements, for your nutrients. And then another thing that I didn't put on as a slide that I know helps really um, well with our um, cellular activity of absorbing all the food nutrients is the DDR prime. Um, my father-in-law was taking the, he went through uh, prostate cancer. And so I gave him the LLV and the DDR prime. And because his hormones levels are off too from the prostate treatment that he went through, he had low energy. He was like, um, didn't want to do anything. He was almost like in a depression state because his hormone levels were so low for this time testosterone levels and I gave him this LLV and DDR prime and all of a sudden he's like I do have more energy and I didn't tell him anything that he'll get more energy I just told him this will help and just try just try it for 30 days if you don't like it you know it's all good but he's he's he is a um, natural pathic too he if you look at his medicine cabinet it's like full of stuff like you know ashwanga and like everything that he could that he just got rid of all of that and just started taking these supplements and it's been helping him with his hormone levels when he, as he went through the hormone therapy for his prostate cancer and so um not only helps with the women but it helps with the men too the llv and the ddr prime um, this one, oh, Mito 2 Max is another thing. I haven't taken this yet. I'm tempted to take it because, you know, I still have low energy no matter what I do. I'm not perfect. Um, I, 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 I try to, you know, do as much as I can with the thing, but I do like a donut. I do like coffee. <laughs> I do like, you know, I, that's, you know, I, I, if I see it, I'm tempted, you know, so I do take all of those things, you know, eat still and, but I do go through the detox. I try to detox every twice a year and I'm going to make um, Dr. Penny and Dr. Tina do it with me again um, at the end of the year. <laughs> um, is there any questions that I couldn't take before I go on? <laughs> So somebody's asking, how early can girls start taking those bone nutrients? Um, I believe if you looked at Pursue, I, I, you know, I always want to say check with your doctor first. You know, um, if you really want to know, you know, how your hormone levels are, you really need a blood work done, actually. So at the youngest age, I, you know, on the pursue when we looked at the, the um, when we were watching, I think they said like as early as age six, right? Four and up, I believe. Um, uh, and I, you know, it's never, the LLV I think is too, if you can swallow a pill at four, I, that's great, you know, you just start with one. I wouldn't do the CRS plus because it has a green tea extract and stuff like that. Um, but the omega threes and the, the food nutrients that come with all from the essential oils, it's natural, you know, it doesn't, you can't, you can overdose on it, but I mean, take it in a minimal basis and I think it'll be fine. Um, Oh, let me go through these questions. I didn't see the chat box. I'm sorry, because I was sharing my screen. Yeah, I'm looking for you. So, oh, okay, thank so, you. Yeah. So the youngest age is safe to start bone nutrients, you think is six years old for the women health bone nutrients or just the LLV? 
I think it's okay when you read the ingredients, it's only um, calcium and vitamin D, which they all need anyways. Um, I have to look at the, I haven't researched it much to do it, you know. Um, I haven't given it to my daughter yet, which I should. Um, she has eczema and I, eczema, you know, everything comes with your gut, right? Um, what you eat is what you That's eat. on the bottle, uh, teens and adult women take four capsules daily with food, but, and then men, yeah, women and men. Four capsules? Or yeah, just total. Take four capsules total. daily for the bone strength, the bone nutrients you're talking oh. about? Oh, yeah. I'm just reading the bottle. Yep, it says take four capsules daily with food. What I understand is I look at the bottle, it says if you take LLV, you just need two. If you take LLV. Yes. Yeah. So myself, I take two, but I take, so that's another question for the phytoestrogen. When should we start taking that? I, you know, for me, it's like, um, the earlier, the better. Like I would start taking that even at, you know, in your puberty teens, I would start taking it if you, when you can. Um, it's kind of like Botox. I'm sorry. You know, Botox is like, <laughs> <laughs> they say, you know, the earlier you do it, the more prevention you get because then your, your like forehead doesn't have that wrinkle. So the earlier you Botox it, then the better it is because you don't create, you know. So for me, I'm all about, um, uh, taking it as early as you can and, 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 you know, help support your body. Why not? Because, um, when it's too late, like when it's, when you're later on in menopause, it will help, but you know, it may be a help even better when you're younger. So for me, I'm about taking it as early as you can, like vitamin D deficiency. Don't wait until you get there. Just start taking it as you're younger, you know, with calcium too. I see. So use frankincense as early as you can. All right. Uh, another question. Digestion is good for lactose and taking the oil internal is better? Um, so it doesn't help lactose intolerance. It actually helps my upset stomach. And That's what it helps with. I don't take it, you know, I don't eat, lac I don't eat cheese and then take digest then to help it with lactose. That's not how I take it. I, I, if I eat something that I didn't realize had too much dairy in it, then my body, I will go diarrhea. I will have the bloating. I will have upset stomach and I take the digest zen internally one drop the oil and it will take my stomach pain away but sometimes i still will go diarrhea um if but you know your body has to let it out because your body can't digest it and so that's why you have the diarrhea and stuff so you know the stomach pain goes away but you know terrazyme has lactase in it so that might help that might be helpful Ter yeah. terrazyme yeah do you take terrazyme I do take Terrazyme, okay. but when I have that upset stomach, oh, I just oh, you take it before. It's like a prophylactic. Like lactase, you know, lactate pills, um, you yeah. take it prior to your ingestion of um, milk products. So lactase is inside Terrazyme. Yes, I am. And I put out, oh, so my daughter has eczema. So I put her on Terrazyme actually at once yeah, like in the evening. I put her on that so that her body can, you know, digest some of the stuff that she can, you know, like the white carbohydrates and stuff that she can digest. So I, I'm a strong believer in Terrazyme. When it came out, I bought like four bottles because <laughs> I don't want it to go. I can't live without it. Yes. Okay, one more question. I have type 2 pre-diabetic, but I am not overweight. And even with straight diet, no or low carb or fat, etc. Exercise, hydration, etc. I will I still cannot bring down to normal range. At the end, I feel like it's stress that is causing my problem. Can you comment this topic a little bit? What would you recommend with doTERRA products? To be honest, if you are pre to diabetic, I'm not a doctor, a medicinal doctor, I'm a dentist, but if you are pre to diabetic, I would say you have to get your glucose level regulated. And which that means is you have to stay away from simple carbs, which is the refined carbs, which is the white bread, the rice, the, um, 
um, what more is the white uh, white simple carbohydrates like um, pasta, pasta? Yeah, that's white white flour. Yes, white flour. Any of that stuff, because when your body has too much glucose levels, too high glucose, then your your diabetic means that you're being insulin resistant. And when you're insulin resistant, your insulin can't digest the glucose. And when you have too much glucose, then your everything is inflamed, and that's where the the diabetes comes from. I don't know if you guys heard this or not, but you know they're they're linking Alzheimer's with diabetes, and they're calling it diabetes three. Um, it's the inflammation to the brain. It's just too much. So they actually put the Alzheimer's on a low carb high fat um, diet to help them out. And I heard, and that's also caused, you know, um, with memory loss and, you know, your brain fog also. So it, you see how it all intertwines a little bit with the, the bad white refined sugar and the carbs and what flour, white flour, anything white is just bad. <laughs> So, so that that that's true, but also um, to stay away from uh, diet soda, diet this, diet that, because the artificial anything artificial can damage your um, insulin. It can increase insulin resistance. So even if you're eating, drinking like a diet soda or diet this, diet that, usually they have artificial stuff in it that um, causes at a cellular level uh, inability for the cell to respond to insulin and um, then causing insulin resistance. So it's a kind of weird thing. So don't, just just don't stay away from the sugar itself, but stay away from the uh, artificial, artificial sweeteners. I totally agree, artificial, anything artificial, anything with Splenda, anything with the pink packet, the circulose, um, yes, anything like that. But also she was asking about the um, stress. So stress does cause increased cortisol levels and then thereby increased sugar. So all of the adaptogens, such as the holy basil, if you can get the holy basil this month, that's great. Adaptive, it, the, 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 the kit, the convention kit seems like it was made for pre-type 2 diabetes um, caused by stress. So this is, I think that's for you. I don't know, Agnes, if you've started the the, um, if you already purchased it, but that has like the whole stress kit. So that may help you plus the holy basil, plus all, a lot of other oils. So that might help you with your, um, your, your issue, but there's so many options. There's so many, there's like so many factors that go into it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely decreasing stress. Clary calm in and of itself decreases stress, but also helps your hormone balance. So totally agree. Okay. Next question. I had reconf conflicting information on soy. I was reading that soy can cause inflammation. What do you think? I have to agree, you know, um, too much soy. Um, a lot of soy is actually GMO, genetically modified um, pro product nowadays. And so soy, I, you know, if you can stay away, but I still eat tofu. I try to buy organic, you know, just because it says organic either doesn't mean it's it's the best thing too. You know, the FDA and our U.S. country, the regulations on it, they just because it says organic doesn't mean that they use other things to like spray down the plants and stuff, you know. So just be careful, you know. Anything you eat too much of is not good, period. Even the essential oil, that's why you have to really be careful how you use your essential oil because it can do harm if you use too much you know you have to use it in appropriate and you know ways of doing anything so my rule of thumb is anything too much is not good but if you know like if you're stressed and you can't eat that bread just eat it because that stress is probably more harmful to you than not eating it <laughs> so for me to keep down that stress you know I agree. Is soy, okay. is soy like soy sauce, soy beans, and tofu? Or what is soy? So there is gluten-free soy sauce. If you read the ingredients, soy sauce has gluten in it. So um, if you could do like a soy sauce without the gluten, if you're gluten sensitive also, that will, gluten is another whole subject that we can go off on. Thank you so much, everybody. Um,
we have to invite you back for more. <laughs> yes. Oh, Dr. Yes. Is great. Yeah. Um, you know, I uh, was the one recording and we're pulling out uh, my Wi-Fi is going to turn off. So I just wanted to say thank you very much, Dr. Judy. If you guys want to hop back on. Um, yeah, hop back on and, and talk. Yeah, and, and, but I, I'm going to stop the recording now. But I just wanted to say how grateful I am to you. You touched on so many topics and um, we are very, very thankful. So, okay, everyone. Eat well. Lower your stress. God bless you all. Drive safe. Thank you. Dr. Thank you.